Okay, so let's talk fixed pitch micro helicopters. Now uh, we have the 9958, the V911, and the MSRX. The 9958 and the V911 are kind of traditional fixed pitch helicopters. You can see that they've both got their swash plates oriented the same way. Um, and they both have stabilizer bars. The 9958 has a stabilizer bar underneath the rotor. The V911 has a stabilizer bar located on top of the rotor. Compare that to the MSRX, who has uh, the rotor only. It employs a gyroscope on there on board uh, to help stabilize the thing. And then it's also got the swash plate kind of shifted 45 degree angle so that the attachment points are at 6 and 3 o'clock. So what do we like about each one? The 9958 and the V911 obviously are the two cheaper models. Um, I think the 9958 is a little bit easier to fly. It comes with a radio that has both high and low settings out of the box. And on low settings, this thing is really stable. You can even fly it indoors right off the bat. It's not exactly like a coax, but uh, you know it's very stable. I think having the rotor closer to the body on the V911 gives it a little bit higher performance. Um, you know, the trade-off being that it's not quite as user-friendly uh, right out of the box. Incidentally, one of the cool things about the 911 is that you can buy it without the radio also. Um, so, you know, when you, as you're buying extra stuff, or you can even use the 911 with the, you know, the 9958 radio. Ideally, though, I think you're going to always, you know, move up and bind them to get something like this Turnigy radio so that you can bind them both uh, to that. The MSRX, on the other hand, has a ton of aftermarket parts, which are cool. Um, you can see I've bought some stuff here, new blade grips, um, you know, a new uh, swash plate there. Instantly, all this stuff just only adds weight <laughs> over the stock thing, so I'm probably going to be pulling some of it down. And it binds as well to, you know, a spectrum radio, so you can use that to, you know, tweak settings, get a little bit higher performance. This without the stabilizer bar is going to perform quite a bit better than these, but it is much more difficult to fly for someone who is not accustomed to flying fixed pitch uh, helicopters. So definitely a, kind of a bigger jump from a coax to this one. Um, but with that being said, it's pretty pretty stable though with that gyroscope that it has. As far as aftermarket support goes. Uh, on all of them, basically, you can find tons of little projects and upgrades, enhancements on the internet. You can find a lot of really creative things for the two cheaper models, uh, just because people use you know pieces from either one to uh, you know upgrade or assist e either model, or sometimes even pieces from you know different blade helicopters, the MCX, the MSRX, the older MSR, um, and then one of the you know uh, good points of these is that they're so cheap. If something happens. Say, so, you know, you break your landing gear, you can just buy a whole nother helicopter for 20 bucks and, uh, you know, use the part that you want. And then if you're looking to spend a little bit less money, I would go with whichever one of these I could find a better deal on, the 9958 um, or the 911. Uh, one of the things I should mention is I did change the 911. You can see comes with a different kind of battery out of the box that had uh, battery that requires you to plug it in with two contacts. I soldered in my own leads so that I could use, you know, interchange batteries in and out of these. I need to change the landing gear on here. I've just been taping the bottom uh, batteries to the bottom and using it. If you want to spend a bit more money or if you're, you know, have some Spectrum equipment already, uh, or even if you have the Spectrum modules for the Turnigy radio, then I might just jump right to the MSRX. Um, or if you're the kind of person who likes buying all the little extra gizmos and gadgets, you have uh, you know a lot of options with the uh, with the blade stuff. So either way, these things are a ton of fun to fly. I hope you get into the hobby, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot, and please leave some comments.